At Hemsworth Financial, we generally recommend that your liquidity needs should be covered with fixed income securities with maturity dates and amounts that correspond to those needs. We also recommend either U.S. Treasury securities, FDIC-insured CDs, or high-grade municipal bonds depending on your projected tax bracket. However, we have been in a historically low interest rate environment for many years now. When interest rates are low, the main concern is how far out on the yield curve to go if interest rates are going to rise. We still recommend buying bonds in the five to seven year range and holding them to maturity. When the bond matures, you should be able to reinvest your cash at a higher rate. When you hold a U.S. Treasury bond to maturity, you know what you've paid for the bond, you know what you'll get at the end, and you know your coupon amount. It's a contract that is as close to a guaranteed rate of return as you can get. You generally can weather the interest rate risk in the meantime. Many clients have a valid concern that investing in fixed income investments would be a guaranteed way to lose principal in terms of purchasing power because of inflation. We don't disagree, however, we believe that it is better than the potential to lose considerably more because of a market correction in the year you need to withdraw your money. While all investments have risks, bonds are generally considered less risky than stocks, but are not without risk. Bonds provide a predictable stream of income allowing us to know the exact cash flow that the client will receive at the time of maturity. My name is Nick Antonucci, Research Analyst for Hensler Financial, and thank you.